Hey everyone, and I have a guide for you today. This is a range training method that I kind of discovered myself, which is Aquanites, which you can kill in the um, Relica Slayer Dungeon. They're at the very end of it. So um, how you get there is you just go to the Relica Slayer Dungeon. Uh, the fairy ring code will be in the description. I can't quite remember it off the top of my head, but uh, there is a fairy ring that teleports you straight to the entrance of the dungeon, and uh, that code will be in the description, so you can look at that. At the beginning, we're just looking at my setup. I am using Armadil and a Slayer Helm because it was my Slayer task with a Royal Crossbow. I also have a Bone Crusher and a Demon Horn Necklace, which are very, very important. You definitely want to have these if you can. Uh, also, the Slayer requirement to kill these monsters is level 78, and the loot they drop is not the greatest. Um, they do have a chance of dropping the amulet of ranging although this is only worth about 80k in the GE at the moment so it's not really a very good drop to begin with so you don't have to worry too much about drops but since they do drop big bones and they are so fast to kill you can use unlimited prayer here um, so I was using soul split which is of course 92 prayer if you have that very very useful uh, that will cover all the healing you need I had a bunny up just in case but um, soul split covers all the healing you need and you can use it infinitely and you do want to use abilities if you don't use abilities of course it will be a bit slower but it is also very good XP even without using abilities so the XP I got here you'll see at the end um, I only slayed these for 10 minutes but it adds up to um, 246k per hour using abilities and just going full speed. Uh, and if you don't use abilities, it's about 200k an hour, roughly. Uh, I did do 10 minutes without abilities as well, but I didn't record them. But it is about 200k an hour without abilities. Um, so this is almost an alternative to Water Fiends. Uh, Water Fiends are also about 250k range XP per hour, um, but they drop a lot of more Crimson Charms. Um, however, if you just are getting sick of Water Fiends and you want an alternative method to train your range, this is a great place to go. I kind of enjoyed it. Um, you do get a few charms. Um, also, if you're planning on staying here a long time, I would recommend to bring Alk Runes because they do drop a lot of Battle Staves, which Alk for about 9.5k each. They drop both Air Battle Staves and Water Battle Staves, so if you do want to camp here for a long time and possibly train your range, you definitely want to bring some Alk Runes as well. Um, with my setup, of course, I am using the max gear, and I am uh, max stats as well, so I will be getting a bit faster XP than someone who, for example, is like level 80 range and using royal dehyde and maybe a worse weapon. Of course, if you're using uh, any weapon below either chaotic crossbows or a royal crossbow, the XP per hour is not going to be nearly as good just because those weapons are very, very efficient at killing them. So, um, do you... I only use basic abilities and then I use the ability Deadshot or if you have Chaotic Crossbows you want to use the ability Unload and uh, though either Deadshot or Unload will pretty much just one hit these things um, and then the basic abilities uh, kill them very fast as well you can kill them in usually two or three hits with the basic ones so you really don't want to be using any threshold abilities because like abilities such as Rapid Fire uh, they just take a little bit of time, they take a few too many ticks to get started, and there's really no reason in using them, so you just want to use your basics and then your ultimate once you have your adrenaline bar all the way up. Um, and of course, uh, if you do want to take it a little more slow and relaxed, you can uh, use momentum as well. I just wouldn't recommend that if you really want to get the best XP per hour. So I did have to leave all the drops on the ground while making this video, which was uh, extremely hard for me to do because uh, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I am extremely cheap and I like to pick up everything. But if you are going to leave drops on the ground, this is one of the best places to do it because all they drop is runes. Um, not rune items, but like runes that you use for mage and some noted drops, but none of them are really worth very much at all. They also drop some like adamant bolts and rune bolts, but other than if you get an amulet of ranging or an effigy, uh, there's no reason to pick up any of the drops. And of course the charm collector is very nice here as well because they do have a pretty decent drop rate for blue charms, and you'll get the standard uh, crimson, green, and golds as well. Um, but the charm collector just means that you don't have to run around, which is also really nice. So anyway, um, also I recorded this in a larger screen, so if the frame rate is a bit buggy, um, I am re speeding this up so the frame rate shouldn't be too much of an issue, but for most of my guides and stuff in the future, I'm going to try to be recording on a larger screen, on um, resizable instead of fixed, just because it looks a lot nicer with the video production quality, I think. So anyway, that's going to be about all for this guide. Um, my 10 minutes of slaying these things is just about wrapping up, so hopefully you enjoyed. Please leave a like uh, if you did find this guide helpful, and uh, yeah, if you just want an alternative to Water Fiends to train your range, this is a great place to go. Uh, 78 Slayer, of course, as I said earlier, and I got 41, a little over 41k in 10 minutes.